everyone welcome back to coding stuff and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can push your android studio project to github so first of all what uh, you need to do uh, just open your favorite browser and search for git download if you haven't installed git yet so then click on the first link this one git-scm.com then select your operating system and click on that so it will start the downloading and uh, installing it uh, it's simple so i have already installed it so just keep everything as a default and and just add git bash home icon so you can locate it easily to the home screen as you can see it will look like this i will come back here later so once you install git and then what you need to do click on the files and in here click on the settings then go to the version control over here and select git then uh, you can see it is auto detected means git is installed so we can just click on this test and it will show us the git version as you can see in case uh, if it is not auto detected just click on this and locate the path okay then what you need to do it's so simple just click on this vcs enable version control integration click on ok so all the files will turn red uh, you don't need to worry about it then uh, click on this android and select project view then right click and click on the gate and then click on the add so all the files will turn green and then what you need to do uh, just again right click on it click on gate and commit directory and you can type in here anything so this is to do list app with SQLite and then click on the commit so yeah till then what we can do we close this one and just uh, search for github and create your account if you haven't and then uh, once you create your account and you logged in you will see uh, this kind of interface so you will not see uh, this repositories because for the first time if you haven't created any repository it will show blank so just click on the new give a repository name so i'll name it as a to do list using sqlite okay then uh, i'll keep it as a public if you want you can keep it as a private then click on the create repository so we'll require this link i'll just copy this and minimize this so in here we don't worry about warning so commit so yeah if you haven't watched this uh, tutorial series link is in the i button you can check it out so to do list app using sqlite database so yeah uh, all the files are committed now the last thing that we need to do click on the vcs again click on the gate and then in here you can see the push click on that then we have to define remote and paste that link you copied click on ok so for the first time it will ask you for authentication so you just need to fill your details uh, like username and password so in case uh, if it have some issues like like i had some issues with uh, signing in so what you need to do so you will see a generate token button in front of authentication so just click on that generate token button and it will take you to the github and just copy that token and paste it in the android studio so it will work okay then what you need to do just push click on the push button so as you can see it is pushing our project to github so let's wait and yeah it's done so now we'll go to the github and i'll refresh this page so as you can see our project has been pushed to github again uh, one thing that can happen so if uh, someone already uh, used github on your pc then you might see here a uh, different name like not your name so also that happened with me so i'll give a solution for that just open your git so you need to configure git so for that you will need, just need to type git config and then hyphen hyphen global sorry 
user dot name and then double inverted just type in your username and hit enter then again uh, similarly for mail verification git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email double inverted and just type your email and hit enter okay so this is how you configure your gate so yeah that was all in this video we have learned how we can push our android studio project to github and do check out our other tutorials based on android studio like i have covered um, firebase sqlite mvvm apps and so on so yeah do subscribe and thank you for watching